Welcome to Hook for Life. I'm Rob Clark with Clark's Custom Flies, and this is a beginner fly tying series. The fly we're going to tie today is a simple rabbit strip leech. It only uses two materials, which is rabbit strip and dubbing. Um, it's become my new woolly bugger. I tie it in multiple different colors and sizes, and I use them from everywhere from warm water fish right to steelhead and salmon. So we'll get started on the fly. The first thing that we're going to use is a hook. This is a Tiemco 200R in a size 4. The body is going to be Ice Dub Peacock Black. We're going to use black crosscut rabbit strip for the collar. And we're going to use purple rabbit strip, zonker strip for the wing. First thing I'm going to do is get a thread base laid down. The thread that I'm using as black UTC 140. I'm going to start my thread about a quarter inch from the eye of the hook. That's going to be where my body ends and my collar starts. I'll use it as a reference. So I'll start my thread base. Trim my excess. And I'm going to bring my thread back to the point of the hook when the bobbin hangs down. I've pre-cut my zonker, purple zonker rabbit strip and what I've done is I've measured it from my thread point to a section on my vise. You can do the same that way you can get a consistent measurement on your tail length. So I've set my rabbit zonker strip in place just going to wet my fingers and peel back the rabbit strands as close to the leather as I can. I'm going to do two or three full wraps and tighten it down as much as I can. I'll do one more again. Then I'm going to fold the wing back on the zonker strip and I'm going to do four or five turns and behind. Now what I've done is that helps secure the rabbit strip in place and keep it from twisting. Also it'll leave the rabbit strip sticking back here out of your way for when you do your dubbing body. Next again I'm going to take my dubbing. Again as we discussed in other videos, less is more when it comes to dubbing. It's easier to put it on and add on than it is to take it off. And I'm just going to simply twist my dubbing onto the thread in one motion I like a fairly robust body on this fly, so it can be seen underneath the zonker strip. Going to continue to wrap my body forward, adding dubbing as we need it. And I'll bring that dubbing body right to the start of my thread, where we started our thread base on. Now we have room for our collar, and this is where it'll start. I'm now going to take my zonker strip, pull it forward, and I'm going to stretch it fairly tight. Hold in place with my left hand on a pinch, come up with two to three tight turns, and pull down nice and tight. I'll twist the zonker strip to make sure we have it in place. And the excess leather that we have sticking out here, I will trim off on a 45 degree angle, as close to our tie-in point as I can. And now I will push the leather down and wrap it around and come forward and lock it all into place. Reverse my thread back to the original tie-in point just like that. So now we're about to do the collar for the body. <clears throat> There's several ways of doing this collar. This is the way I prefer to do it. It helps take away from some of the bulk. Um, the thread that we use, which is UTC 140, is a synthetic multi-stranded thread. And what we're going to do is twist our bobbin counterclockwise to get the thread to flatten out. I'm going to take my bobbin 
and slowly tease it down the thread until we can get the thread to flatten out. And then I'm going to come in with my left hand and my forefinger to the flattened portion of the thread. Then what I want to do is take my dubbing needle and come in and split the thread as 50-50 as we can. Slide the dubbing needle down and put our finger in here. Essentially what we've made is a dubbing loop. You can do this with a dubbing loop as well, but I find this particular split thread technique will allow you to have a little bit cleaner, smoother head. Now we're going to take our black cross-cut rabbit strip with the leather side facing us. What we want to do is slide the rabbit's cross-cut in between the thread that we have split. Once we have it in between, we're going to pull our finger out and allow the thread to close on the rabbit. And as you can see, hopefully in the video, you can see my left forefinger is slightly underneath the piece of cross-cut rabbit strip. The reason being, this is going to help keep the thread from twisting now so that we can come in now with a pair of scissors and cut the leather off the back of the rabbit. And all you want to do, nice and easy, slowly cut the leather off. Now that you've done this, I take my right forefinger and I'll slightly push in on the rabbit to even up the tips. Once that's done, I will now twist my bobbin clockwise to lock all the fibers in place. This will take a few minutes to do, and we want to make sure that all these fibers get locked in correctly. So it may take a couple of times for you to spin your bobbin to get it locked into place properly. Just like a dubbing loop, we're locking all these fibers in. A good way to test to see if you had enough tension on it is to pull your bobbin down. As you can see, you can see the rabbit beginning to spring. That's usually an indication that you've tightened it on enough. And now that you can now you can take just a soft toothbrush and brush through the strokes of the rabbit strip to release any small fibers that are not caught. Now that I've done that, I'm going to move my bobbin up a little bit closer to the rabbit itself. And I'm going to roll the rabbit around and pull it back just like as if you're wrapping a hackle onto, the, onto a fly for a collar. We're doing essentially the same thing. As I make each turn, I will pull these rabbit fiber strips back and just lock it into place neatly and create my head. I like a decent robust head that I like to see and I know it's strong and locked into place and we'll whip finish one more time. This is to ensure any thread is locked in place. The last thing I will do is put a little bit of head cement on there, lock it into place, and now you have a great simple leech pattern. It's all rabbit strip, has great movement, great colors, and you can tie this in a multitude of colors from smallmouth bass patterns right to steelhead patterns. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed tying this fly. Thanks, and have a good evening. Mm -hmm.